Good day, it's Phoenix. Hope everybody's had a great one. You know, I know it's a little early for this story. Usually you hear about this story around Christmas time, but it's good for any day. It's about letting go. And sometimes we get so comfortable in what we have that we're afraid to let go. But when the wise man had gone and it says in the Bible that an angel appeared to Joseph and told him to get up and to take his child and the mother of his child to Egypt because Herod was going to kill the child. So he got up and he took the child and his mother and it says they stayed there. Uh, they stayed in Egypt until the death of Herod. Now, here's the thing. They had to let go of, of a lot of things because of their faith journey. Can you imagine having to leave everything that you know, your family, your friends, the comfort of your home, whatever it is, but to leave it all and go into an unknown place and an unknown environment. In one sense, what they were doing was sacrificing their level of comfort at its deepest level. It's often uncomfortable to trust God and follow his plan because we get so comfortable with the wrong things. We get comfortable with our little habits and our rituals. We get comfortable with the things that have us stuck where we are instead of getting us to where God wants us to grow and where God wants to be. If you commit your health to God, it probably means that you're going to have to give up some of your favorite foods. If you commit your finances to God, it probably means that you're going to have to cut back on spending and, and change your habits. It's uncomfortable to break a habit. It's uncomfortable to face a fear. It's uncomfortable to go somewhere you've never gone before or forgive someone who has hurt you. But growth and change always come through doing those uncomfortable things. And that's what's good in it. But if we don't, we will continue to hold on to something that makes us feel comfortable and end up turning our back on God, who is the source of all comfort. The Bible says, peace be to God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. He is the Father of compassion and God of all comfort. So starting today and this day forward, I invite you to recognize that God is the God of all comfort. And in those moments when you feel like you want to turn back into that old habit, into that old way of thinking, which pulls you off track, turn to God and say, God, give me comfort. Y'all have a great day and we'll see you next time. Bye.